Hello, a new Glebe is back, and today I'm gonna be explaining um, how I the steps I took when I was modeling this um, laptop. So, uh, actually, I've modeled this laptop it's um, like two years now. So, I'm just gonna explain how I did it. So, um, I start with uh, the base here. I named this one based on the one I selected here. Um, let me isolate this. So uh, this one, as you can see, it's just a cube, and I just type extruding, intruding, and the like. So this place, let me let me select uh, lambda so that you can see this clearly. So I extruded, I added um, edges and extruded a lot of places, just like this place, at this place. Uh, that is what I did here. So let me undo the. Uh, let me undo yeah so um let me take this back in and the keyboard here this are just a duplication i only um made one and i started uh, duplicating and uh like scaling so that is what i did here and let's see under this thing it doesn't have a, a closure so i deleted the back uh, face so that it will reduce the um Poly counts that we have with this one, so that is what I did there, and I gave it. Uh, I think I gave it fung or something. You can give it any material that you like, as long as it um, goes along with uh, the type of um, material that you want to use um, with your reference. So that is um, that one, and I just duplicate and place it. I counted the buttons on the reference that I'm using the dead i'm using i just counted the buttons there and that is uh, how it works out for me so um this is a piece this is just a cylinder that i just um deleted the back um i selected some pieces and deleted them so the same thing with these little guys right here um the same thing i did to them and this one right here um i here the how i made this i downloaded the um, logo image logo and i imported it in as image plane and i was just following the outline the uh, reference making my own um cube out of it making it logo actually then i didn't know how to use curve to that I did the tutorial I did then that I created the curve from Illustrator and brought it in to Maya so I didn't know how to make that then so instead I just um, imported the image reference of um, the Dell logo and I started uh, making cubes and extruding intruding just to give this thing so that is what I did and after doing that one I just uh, I I moved it in and I group it with this guy right here, this um, screen, and the same thing with this guy. I duplicated this one before I made the circle and I brought it to this place so that it could be here. And that is what I did. And after that, I just grouped it with this guy right here. So and um, the texture, how I texture this one. Then I was still using um, color draw. What I did. I just uh, did. Um, I selected this guy right here, and I went to UV and automatic UV, and this is what it gave me. Um, I had my picture that I was looking at. Like this place should be escape. This place should be F1, F2, and the lights. So I just UV snapshot this place, and I took it to Corel Draw, where I was inputting my one, two, three, four the quality or uh, what it has to have and this was my result so i have my keyboard open 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 i don't have time so this is my result this right here is my result so this is what i got there so this is escape one and all these ones i was making them myself so that is what i did for all these places so um this uh, are the numbers and these are the things that were supposed to be there looking at my keyboard then so i could know what and what i needed to do so um this one let me go back 
this one right here I um, screenshot because I was working on something then in TYT it's just a cultural um, stuff these are, are the um, Nigerian or um, house tools that we use this we used to grind pepper this we used to uh, fetch water and this we used to pound yam and this is the pots and these are the three stones that we used to cook and this the coal pots um we call this a potty we use it to sit more or less a, a, a the small version of a bench this one right here so what i did here i just screenshot pressing uh, the print screen on my keyboard so i pressed at the print screen and i went um to um correct draw and pasted there and i um saved it or export it as jpeg that is how i have this one and um what i just did was to go to maya and select the face this face is right here where I, i'm supposed to put the um the screen so I just selected, selected all the faces and I'm going to right click on go to um, Fong, assign new material to that, give it Fong and uh, I'm going to click on this um, color right here so that it will take me to where I'm going to add that guy. So um, click on the computer yeah this is the screen so i uh, i'm just gonna select it there and add it here so it's not gonna show until i go to this place and just select it so i have my screen right there uh, maya i was working on maya then so the same thing to this guy right here i'm gonna select this one also so i think i have the material already so i'm just gonna go click on the um, that guy and look for computer or com no not that one computer what is the name keyboard i think it should be keyboard yeah so this is a keyboard so i'm just gonna select this and there i have it so like so i have my keyboard and the like so that is how i did it so um i kind of removed the turntable and i um, set uh, I give um, I create a camera and set a plane for this one so I can have a perfect um, rendering and this um, is the um, rendering um, the final entry that I have so this is it so that is how to go about modeling um, computer so thank you very much for watching i hope you guys love it and you like it and please thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe share with friends thank you so much and i really appreciate you guys for subscribing my newest um, subscribers thank you so much for subscribing i hope we shall be meeting again in peace and not in pieces so a yinko lebe is safe